politics in this country. Mr. President, you recently said of Vice President Harris, quote, I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. I want to ask a bigger picture question here tonight. Why do you believe it's appropriate to weigh in on the racial identity of your opponent? I don't, and I don't care. I don't care what she is. I don't care. Uh, You make a big deal out of something, I couldn't care less. Whatever she wants to be is okay with me. But those were your words, so I'm asking... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, all I can say is I read where she was not black, that she put out, and I'll say that. And then I read that she was black, and that's okay. Either one was okay with me. That's up to her. That's up to her. Vice President Harris, your thoughts on this? I think it's... I mean, honestly, I think it's a a tragedy that we have um, someone who wants to be president who has consistently over the course of his career attempted to use race to divide the American people. You know, I do believe that the vast majority of us know that we have so much more in common than what separates us, and we don't want this kind of approach that is just constantly trying to divide us, and especially by race. And let's remember how Donald Trump started. He was a... a, a, a land, he owned land, he owned buildings, and he, he was investigated because he refused to rent property to black families. Let's remember, this is the same individual who took out a full-page ad in the New York Times calling for the execution of five young black and Latino boys who were innocent, the Central Park Five, took out a full-page ad calling for their execution. This is the same individual who spread birther lies about the first black president of the United States. And I think the American people want better than that, want better than this, want someone who understands, as I do, I travel our country. We see in each other a friend. We see in each other a neighbor. We don't want a leader who is constantly trying to have Americans point their fingers at each other. I meet with people all the time who tell me, can we please just have discourse about how we're going to invest in the aspirations and the ambitions and the dreams of the American people? Knowing that regardless of people's color or the language their grandmother speaks, we all have the same dreams and aspirations and want a president who invests in those, not in hate and division. Vice President Harris, thank you. Lindsay? President Trump, this is now your third time. This is the most divisive presidency in the history of our country. There's never been anything like it. They're destroying ABC, that's our not country. a response. Come and on. they come up with things like what she just said, going back many, many years, when a lot of people, including Mayor Bloomberg, agreed with me on the Central Park Five. They admitted, they said, they pled guilty. And I said, well, if they pled guilty, they'd badly hurt a person, kill the person, ultimately. And if they pled guilty, then they pled, we're not guilty. But this is a person that has to stretch back 